What's going on, everybody? I want to do a real quick review of this Foxwell NT301. This is an OBD2 scanner, and uh, I have lots of vehicles that I have to perform maintenance on. Uh, I've got another one in the garage and another one out front, and uh, this is the scanner that I use. I'm going to show you about it real quick. So if you're watching this, I assume you know how an OBD scanner works. So my OBD port is down here on the right-hand side. Uh, sometimes they're down on the left-hand side. But anyway, I've already plugged it in. I've got it started. Uh, you can see the options on this scanner. It has an OBD reader. The DTC are the codes that it, it pulls up. Uh, if it doesn't tell you what the code is uh, and what it means and what its symptoms are, you can actually go to this lookup, type in the code. It'll be P0743 or P1035. Anyway, whatever the codes are this gives you, you can put in here and it'll tell you the most common symptoms and problems and help you diagnose what it is. Most of the time it's gonna be a sensor or something like that nature. Uh, you can go back and review. Uh, you can also print this data if you need to. This tells you about the scanner itself and the last time that it was probably updated. And then setup lets you turn things on and off like the beeps and the stuff like that when you press the button. Uh, put in the metric units, whether you're gonna do metric or whether you wanna use standard uh, US stuff, miles and things like that. So the keyboard is really easy, everything is labeled. Uh, one of the nice features about this one is you press this IM button and this will tell you how ready your vehicle is for a smog test, which is actually pretty cool. So it's scanning this vehicle really quick. Uh, it's gonna pop up the results here in a second and you can see everything is green. So this HCAT and this AIR, uh, those are things that it can't test for. So these are a non-result. Everything else is green. So if I had to get smogged, I could go check it out and it would not be a problem. So then you get out of that, you just press back. So to read the OBD, you just put it on that one. You press enter, uh, it finds out what the protocol is, uh, then it does it and it reads it. So this vehicle has has no codes on it. I keep it in really good shape. Uh, see, it says no codes found. Uh, and then it asks if I wanna delete any previously saved things. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, uh, even though there are none. But then it will show, it'll let you read the codes. You can erase codes. Uh, it shows live data. So if you're a much more advanced mechanic, uh, you can go to that, turn on your car, uh, and it'll read different things like the current for different components, uh, the RPMs, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff that's well beyond me. But anyway, uh, this is money well spent, especially if you have some older vehicles like I do and you do all of your own maintenance. This will save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on repair costs because with this, you can easily figure out what the problem is. And like I said, a lot of times these days, it's just a sensor. You pop it out, you replace it, you're good to go, and this will help you figure that out. So if you're looking to do some of your own maintenance, whether you're a very basic mechanic or you have some advanced knowledge, this can cover all those bases. Uh, I really like it. It's easy to read. It's very easy to use, uh, and it's just easy to store. I keep it in my glove box, and whenever there's a problem, pop it in, figure it out, fix it, and I'm on my way.